CRVO. This will be the central retinal venous occlusion. Central retinal venous occlusion. That was the arteriolar occlusion. And now we are coming to the venous occlusion. Here again, if you look at the clinical scenario, this is also more common in males uh, more than 50 years of age. And usually, uh, you are going to get the history of hypertension and smoking. You are going to get the history of hypertension and smoking in these kind of patients. And um, uh, the clinical feature will be same. You will have sudden as well as painless diminution of vision. So, you will say that male is common more than 50 years. Yeah, hypertension is also common. Sudden painless diminution of vision. Now, how can I differentiate whether it is CRO and whether it is CRVO? So, always remember that you will never get cherry red spot in the CRVO. Now, when we are getting a patient of CRVO, basically there are two types. One uh, which is more common is the non-ischemic variety we can get and um, another will be the ischemic variety, non-ischemic variety and the ischemic variety. Now, uh, if I am saying it is non-ischemic, obviously this is a mild variety where you are going to get the macular edema. There is no ischemia here. You are just going to get the macular edema. But if it is ischemic variety, which is uh, less common, this is only 25% and this is present in 75%. So, if you are having the ischemic variety, you will have lot of ischemia. A uh, lot of ischemia may, you will have release of vascular endothelial growth factor. This is your uh, integration with the physiology. So, you will have a lot of release of vascular endothelial growth factor, which is actually responsible for the angiogenesis or the, or the neovascularization. Okay. So, here we will have a lot of neovascularization. Due to this, we will have the neovascular glaucoma in this patient. And what was the name of this glaucoma? This is called as 100 day glaucoma which is also called as 100 day glaucoma very very important PYQ I told you this was asked in NEET PG 2018 May there was a direct question that uh, what is 100 day glaucoma and where it is found so 100 day glaucoma is a neovascular glaucoma which is found in CRVO and uh, whenever we have a lot of uh, you know neovascularization these vessels are very quick to bleed so, you will have lot of hemorrhages. Therefore, we will have lot of hemorrhages. Now, once I am, I am having lot of hemorrhages, then the fundus is filled with, you know, total fundus is filled with hemorrhages. This is called as very, very specific splashed, splashed tomato appearance. Here, you are going to get the splashed tomato appearance. Very, very important. There, you were getting the pale retina with the cherry red spot. Here, you are getting the splashed tomato appearance. You can get 100 day glaucoma. Along with this, you will have lot of retinal hypoxia. Why there is retinal hypoxia? Because there is a ischemia. Ischemia was causing the release of vascular endothelial growth factor. There was lot of neovascularization that was leading to neovascular glaucoma. Now, due to this retinal hypoxia, you will also see the cotton wool spot. So, whenever you look at the fundus of this patient, you can also see the cotton wool spots. And along with this, you will also get the evidence or suggestive of the venous occlusion. You will also get evidence of venous occlusion. Due to the uh, venous occlusion, we can have venous dilatation venous dilatation as well as the tortuosity. We will also have the venous dilatation and tortuosity. So, what are the things that they can give you in the question? They can talk about venous dilatation. They can talk about the tortuosity in the vessels. They'll talk about cotton wool spots. They'll talk about the splash to meter appearance with history of hypertension and smoking. Then you are clear that it is a case of CRVO. Now, looking at the Treatment. So, treatment may it depends whether it is non ischemic variety or whether it is ischemic variety because non ischemic variety may you were getting only the cystoid macular edema, only macular edema is there. So, if for the macular edema, we are going to give the intravitreal, intravitreal injection of the steroids or the triamcinolone. So, it depends upon what type of CRVO is present in the patient. If it is ischemic variety, then we are going to do the uh, laser photocoagulation.